USC's president has been in place here since 2010. The professors we spoke to tonight say they felt heard and validated. The push to act may have been the 200 high-ranking professors who signed a letter to the USC Board of Trustees. It said the school's president no longer had the moral authority to lead. I was shaking, uh, and immediately I began emailing the fabulous group of faculty. Including this woman we spoke to by Skype, Professor Ariella Gross, USC Gould School of Law, another faculty member who helped spearhead the petition. A group of us. You know, a week ago, just said, you know, this is this is just can't go on. I mean, this something is broken here. Torn to shreds, the feeling of safety after details came out over gynecologist Dr. George Tyndall's inappropriate pelvic exams and his sexually offensive remarks to patients. Today's resignation of USC's President Nikias means everything to those who work for the university and love its community. It is rare in this moment to speak in the public sphere and feel that you are being heard. A board of trustees member sent out a statement today saying in part, we will rebuild our culture to reflect an environment in which safety and transparency are of paramount importance. You can't count on women keeping quiet anymore. It's a good thing. One first year international student told me she's already looking for ways the university can keep students like her safe. I think maybe they should give us some like international students, give us some suggestions on like how actually people here like do the physical exam. And as the university moves forward, the professors we spoke to say this is a new age. You know, we're in a social media world where things just don't stay buried that you try to bury. The next president of the USC has to be someone who comes in with fresh ideas about how to include these new voices. More than 300 people, mainly former female patients, have come forward against the former USC gynecologist, Dr. Tyndall, who resigned last year. He denied any wrongdoing. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.